guys, it's me, TJ. I just wanted to share a quick little tip with you guys because it is spring cleaning season and this is the time of the year that we do things that we don't normally do on a daily or <laughs> weekly or even monthly basis. One of the things is cleaning out your toaster. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I have a ton of crumbs inside. I know we all have this uh, tray that pops out in our toaster which, you know, you get the crumbs, you get the big crumbs, such as that, which is fine, right? You can clean this out, shake it out, right? But, man, I still have crumbs inside. Yeah, this is legit, you guys. I'm sorry, but this is real life. Um, in my house, we do like eating. And I love everything bagels. But, you know, the stuff gets stuck inside. So, I don't know, this might be a little strange that I'm even sharing this tip, but I'm gonna do it. So, tools. Gonna need a straw. The sturdier, the better. Straw, not like a coffee cup straw or anything. So, first thing you wanna do is unplug your toaster, then you gotta make sure it's cool because you don't want anything, you know, melting. Uh, take out the tray, you know, you can go ahead and keep this out for now. And then you're gonna, like I did, you wanna shake it out. I'm doing it on top of my sink because of the crumbs. So, we will need a straw and a vacuum. I can't be the only one who has this problem. Okay, so you get your vacuum. We're gonna hold the straw in with one hand and the other hand we're gonna get the vacuum hose. Okay, so we are looking at the inside of, here's the toaster. Okay, when you guys are holding the straw, make sure you're not pinching it, otherwise the stuff is not gonna get sucked in, but you still wanna hold it firmly enough where it doesn't get sucked up into the vacuum hose. The straw is so flexible that it gets in and you could just go sh straight across. So let's hold it. I'm gonna turn on the vacuum and we're gonna go at it. What the heck? I have never been able to get those crumbs ever. And hold up. Let me get another straw. Come on, you know we all have straws in our house when you go out to eat or pick up something. Okay, so that's the toaster. All right, the next thing is the famous Keurig coffee machine. Okay, well, I don't know about you guys, but I definitely have coffee grounds up in my K-cup holder even though I don't know how I get it, but you guessed it. Man, you guys, this is amazing, because how do you get into all this stuff? Well, now we have a solution a straw and a vacuum. A vacuum with a hose. Man, you can go crazy with this stuff, but let's say you have a spot that is too, you know, you need a longer thing, just connect two straws and go at it. You could get in between everywhere. You can do a car uh, air conditioning vents. You can do uh, like the cup holders. You can do all kinds of things. So anyways, this is just my quick little tip to get those crumbs and coffee grounds and just stuff like that because, I mean, who does it all the time? I don't, that's for sure. But this time of the year, yeah, we tend to do a little bit more detail cleaning. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you would like to, please subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.